Dr. Ted Venema Talks Audiology, the educational whiteboard series brought to you by Next Gen Hearing. Hi, I'm Ted Venema, here to talk to you about the last of our segments on hearing aids. This one deals with hearing aids and speech in noise, and specifically directional microphones and digital noise reduction. You'll recall from our last talk on hearing aids, we talked about programmability of digital hearing aids, how they can have different programs for listening in quiet compared to listening in noise. And the objective there was to enhance or increase the listening of speech in noise for the hearing, a hearing impaired person. Well, the problem with speech in noise is a real problem. And it's partially addressed by programs, but we can go further and we have gone further with a two-part solution, directional microphones and digital noise reduction. Let me describe each of these to you. Directional microphones, digital noise reduction. We'll first talk about directional microphones or otherwise known as D mics. Hearing aids are electronic systems. They each have an a, a microphone, they have amplifiers, and they have a speaker. The microphone in a hearing aid changes incoming sound into electricity. The amplifier of a hearing aid increases that electrical current, increases the electricity. The speaker takes that increased electricity and changes that back into sound. So in a way, a microphone and a speaker are opposites of each other. A frown is an upside down smile, a speaker is an inverted microphone. Mics change sound into electricity, speakers take electricity and change it into sound. And the amplifier in between does its work amplifying, shaping the frequency response or the shape of the sound coming out. And that's where all the digital stuff is done in the digital signal processor deep in the heart of a hearing aid. Microphones, let's focus on them right now. Microphones can be omnidirectional or they can be directional. Omnidirectional means they pick up sounds in all directions equally. Directional means that microphones are focusing on picking up sounds in a certain direction. To illustrate this further, let's look at figure one. Figure one shows you sensitivity patterns of different kinds of microphones, omnidirectional and directional. Omni means all around. Omnidirectional means a hearing aid, uh, the microphone is sensitive equally to all 360 degrees around the listener's head. And that's shown on the, on the diagram in terms of polar plots. The diagram in figure one shows polar plots. These illustrate the sensitivity patterns of these microphones. The omnidirectional mic is shown by the round outside circle, showing you that that microphone is equally sensitive to sounds in all directions. Omnidirectional microphones are great for listening in quiet, but what about if there's background noise? Then you'd want a directional microphone because you'd want the microphone to be most sensitive in the direction of the person you're facing. And that's what the other squiggly lines in that diagram are showing you. They show the polar plots or the sensitivity patterns of various kinds of directional microphones. Interestingly, the one that looks like an upside down heart, it's actually called a cardioid directional microphone. As in cardio, the heart, you know, because its pickup pattern is shaped like a heart. Needless to say, all those polar plots of directional microphones, you can see in the diagram, they're less sensitive to sounds from the sides and less sensitive to sounds from the rear of the person. You know, you're assuming that the person is facing, the person's nose is on the top of that diagram. You can see that all the microphones are equally sensitive to sounds coming from the front of the listener, but directional microphones are less sensitive to sounds coming from the sides and the rear of the listener. 
That's polar plots and directional microphones. The nice thing also about today's hearing aids, because they're digital, the hearing aid can automatically switch among these different sensitivity patterns. The hearing aid can sometimes be operating with an omnidirectional microphone, and then when noise comes into the picture, the hearing aid will suddenly make its microphone revert to directional. And you, the listener wearing the hearing aid, you don't have to make any adjustments at all with yourself. The hearing aid's doing it automatically. So it's amazing what today's hearing aids are doing that way. You can also make the speech in noise program have a directional microphone. Remember we talked about programs last time and how the listener can use a remote control to switch or toggle among different programs? Well, the program for listening to speech and noise can be accompanied with a directional microphone, whereas the program you used for listening in quiet will revert to an omnidirectional, equally sensitive to all directions microphone. That's directional microphones. Let's look at digital noise reduction. This is something, as Monty Python would say, that's completely different. Direction, digital noise reduction. It is an algorithm built into the digital architecture. An algorithm is just a series of instructions. Let me explain. Noise, the general hubbub and babble of noise, tends to be steady in intensity over time. Think of a fan or an air conditioner or traffic noise out there that's steady or even party background babble. <laughs> that's why we even use the words babble and hubbub because the sound is blah, 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 blah. It's fairly steady in intensity over time. Look at figure two. It illustrates this. If you, figure two has, shows you two different kinds of sounds. One shows that the top bar is showing you sound wave that is steady in intensity over time. This one's showing you a tone like beep, but look at the sound wave below. Look at how it goes up and down in loudness or intensity. And that's what the sound of my flapping gums is here to you. I mean, in any language, the Pope ordered his cutlery too late in my best Swiss German, whatever. The point is that speech is a very unique signal. Speech fluctuates wildly in intensity over time. It's wow, wow, wow. I, I think speech is so weird dogs and cats must be laughing their heads off at us because here's us as an animal doing this blah, 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 blah. well that's what speech is and the digital noise reduction algorithms are so designed as to separate the sound coming into the hearing aid into a camp of noise or into a camp of speech. Does the sound wave look mostly like the top sound shown in figure two? Is it steady in intensity over time? Or does it fluctuate wildly in intensity over time? If it falls into the top category, it's deemed to be noise. And the hearing aid says, hey, I'm not gonna amplify that. Whereas if the sound coming into the hearing aid fluctuates wildly over time, the artificial intelligence in the hearing aid will say, hey, I'll bet you that's speech. I'm going to work on that. I'm going to amplify that. So you've got these two very different techniques today whereby to enhance speech compared to noise. We should summarize something right here. Research has consistently shown that directional mics, D mics, they objectively, scientifically, statistically have been shown in research time and time again that they really do increase the intelligibility, the understanding of speech over noise. They've been shown to do this again and again. Digital noise reduction, DNR, is different. It has not really been shown to objectively increase speech understanding, but I'll tell you this much. It sure subjectively enhances listening comfort in noise. And isn't that a valid concern for someone wearing a hearing aid? Hey, I like to look at D mics as the head. Digital noise reduction as the heart. One's the science, 
one's the art. Together, they make a pretty good team. Do you really want to order one of those online hearing aids now? Look at what we've talked about. Check it out. If you need help hearing, check into hearing aids. Thank you. See you.